What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna be telling you guys the top five mods you guys should do to your BMW E90. Now, in my opinion, these five are gonna be the absolute best mods you can do to finish off the look of your car. So first off is gonna be wheels. Now wheels can really transform the look of your car. I mean completely change the look. Um, most cars, you know, have some really ugly stock wheels. I mean some cars have some hideous stock wheels. But um, as far as E90s go, you know, most of the stock uh, wheels really do not look nice, do not complement the cars at all. So uh, for the E90, grabbing yourself a nice set of wheels can completely transform the, the look of your car. It really goes a mile. Um, I bought myself some VMRs, um, as you can see in the videos. Uh, it really complements the car, the color, the style, really looks nice. But number two. So the second best mod you can do to your E90 is going to be suspension. Now. The first thing was wheels, and wheels, again, complements the look of your car, completely change the look, but you're still going to have that fat wheel gap, and, you know, depending on what size rim you get, if you stick to the top stock like 17s, uh, you know, it's, it's going to look a little bit wrong, so um, go ahead and get some springs, some coils, you know, you don't have to buy coils, you don't have to spend a thousand dollars, get some H&Rs, uh, get some IBAC, you know. Get some nice cheap springs, $200, $300, install them yourself, it's not a lot of work. And give yourself, you know, close that gap a little bit because you don't want to be monster truck and it really does kill the look of your car if you do have a nice set of wheels on them. So the next one is going to be exhaust. Now, you don't have to go all out and buy the performance exhaust for this car. Um, this car sounds great with a few modifications to the, the stock exhaust system. Now, if you have the money for the performance exhaust, go ahead and do that. Uh, this car sounds amazing with the performance exhaust. Um, but if you do not want to spend a thousand dollars, go ahead and get a muffler dilly, go ahead and get an axle back, go ahead and get some headers, uh, you know, try some combinations and it'll make your car sound amazing. E90s, uh, the inline V6 really sounds great. Um, I have a muffler dilly and a secondary cat dilly and I love it. Um, want to get some catless headers, but it completely uh, makes your car sound different, brakes next everywhere you go, uh, you get compliments all the time definitely worth it if you guys want to uh, know what a muffler delete or a cat delete sounds like go ahead and check out some of my other videos I have a comparison of those two so next is gonna be the front bumper now I know this might not seem like an essential mod but honestly it is a mod that's really necessary if you want to differentiate yourself from all the other E90s out there because to be honest there is a lot of E90s on the road at least where I live in Florida I see them every day ten times to drive so uh, getting a nice front bumper, it could be M-Tech, M3 Wrap, um, you know, I think they have some, some performance style bumpers, but anything to change the look from the, that stock bumper. In my opinion, the stock bumper looks gross, uh, looks outdated, the fog lights look out of place in my opinion. Um, I remember when my car didn't have the M M3 Wrap, I, I tried everything, I tried putting yellow fogs and trying to change up the style a little bit, but nothing really worked, so I went ahead and got the M3 Wrap bumper. Honestly one of my favorite mods I've ever done to this car it completely makes the car look more modern uh, more uh, you know up-to-date um, the fog lights look better you can do a fog delete so there's many options when you get the front bumpers uh, as far as lips and and splitters and all these different markets you know open up for you to shop into and make your car look completely different and unique so um, bumper is gonna be definitely something you want to check out you want to look into so finally it's gonna be angel eyes now angel eyes a uh, really beneficial part in making your E90 look a lot more modern. Uh, the old stock bulbs have this yellow tint, they're really dim and dull and uh, just look, has like a vintage ugly look to it. Um, you can go ahead and get yourself some Lux, they're $125 for E90 pre-LCIs. Um, if you have an LCI, again they have options for that too. Uh, they, they look amazing. Trust me, you, you're definitely not going to regret it. If you don't have the money for it, or if you don't know if you want to buy them, because you don't know how great it's going to look, go on eBay. They have some for like $20. Um, obviously, they're not going to be as good quality, no warranty. You know, They're not going to be as bright as something like Lux. But, you know, go ahead and buy them, install them, and when you see the difference it makes from the stock yellow to a nice modern white light, you're going to want to get the Lux. I guarantee you. That's going to be it, guys. Those are my top five best mods you can do to your E90. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want some more. Give me some ideas of what you want to see. If it's something specific with my car, some reviews, some ideas, um, let me know and I'll 
uh, get back to you guys. So thanks for watching and see you later.